saying is him and God is one. You can't separate them. You can't even separate the Holy Spirit from, from God and Jesus. Amen? Amen? This morning we pray that God will touch our hearts. We pray that God will teach us what to say, how to say, and when to say. Because if we try to say something on our own, we're going to make a mistake. Yes. Well, we, act, we always ask the Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us. Not some of the way, all the way. Because if, if just one little second, we can mess up. Amen? And we're going to talk about who Jesus is this morning. I'm pretty sure everybody in here knows who Jesus is. And the Bible says that we don't know all, everything. But we know enough to know that who Jesus is. Amen. And we're going to come from John, the first chapter, one verse, and the 34th verse. John, the first chapter, the 34th verse. Jesus is on the main line. Yes, he is. All we 
got to do is just call on the Lord with a sincere heart. He's a way maker. He's an everlasting God. He said, I am the I am the Father. I am the good shepherd. Anything you want Jesus to be. He said, I am that I am. He said, I'm the first and I am the last. So anything you want Jesus to be to you is going to be in between the first and the last. Amen? Amen. 34th chapter 6. And I saw and bear record that this is the Son of God. John wrote this and he was trying to let us know who Jesus is. He wrote this, he said, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In other words, John was trying to tell us, he said, in the beginning was the Word, he said the Word was Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, and the Word was word was with God, he said Jesus was always with God at all times. Oh, yeah. And we just said you cannot separate them. Yeah. If you separate them, you're doing wrong because they're not going to be separated. Mm -hmm. And he said, and the, the same was in the beginning with God. Mm -hmm. All things were made by him, and without him were anything made that was made. Mm -hmm. In other words, God made everything on this earth. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you think about the, the, the power that they make concrete, God produced that, the, able the man to produce that. So we can have somewhere that we can walk up on. Amen? Right. We won't have to worry about getting our shoes all muddy, getting our shoes all dirty. God is a good God, y'all. Yes, yes. And it say, in him was life, and the life was the light of man. Talking about people. The light was the light of man. And the light shines in the darkness, yes. and the darkness comprehended right. not God. Yes. In other words, he's saying that if you don't know me, and you testify that you want to know me, nah. that light gonna shine upon you, yeah. and you could come to know me. Right. He said, because soon and very soon, we got to meet the king. Right. And I heard Jesus said, I am going away to prepare a place for you, yeah. and it's only for prepared people. Yeah. So we have to get ourselves together to know that Jesus is coming back, and when he come back, he's coming back for his church, without a spot of blemish. Yes. We're talking about who Jesus is. Jesus said that I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes to me except he come by the Father. Why did Jesus come? Jesus said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes. Why did Jesus come? Jesus came to fulfill all righteousness. Amen. He came that, to heal all sickness. He came to, he came to mend the broken, broken heart. See, if you got a broken heart, go to God. He can mend your broken heart. You can be the saddest person on this earth. All you got to do is whisper a sincere prayer. Amen. And Jesus said, I never leave you, nor will I forsake you. In other words, he said, I'm going to write that for you. I'm just waiting on you to open up to me. Amen. Jesus everywhere. Yes, Lord. And he said, we're talking about right now, why did Jesus come? Jesus came to teach us to love ye one another. Yes. As he also loved at us. Ain't God all right? Yes, he is. And he said, Jesus came to save one that was lost. Mm -hmm. See, you think about the lost sheep. There was there was a there was a hundred sheep in the field. Yes. But one of them got lost. Mm -hmm. the, the, the man he went and he found that one, and when he came back, he was just as happy as he could be. Mm -hmm. He found, he found that was lost. See, that's what we preachers, we need to go out and we need to tell people, let people know that Jesus is on his way back. Yes. And 
I'm not bragging, but I can stand up there and I can see somebody walking down that street out there when I'm working out there. And I wave at them, I speak to them. Sometimes I walk to the fence and I have a little conversation with them. I, I, I tell them, I say, well, if you ain't got no church home to go to, you welcome to come here. Right. I was talking to this old lady in this house right here the other day. And she said, well, mister, I'm sure I'm going to come. I'm sure I'm going to come. So I had a piece of paper with the, with everything that every Sunday that we have, like I gave her was. And I dropped it off at her house, but she wouldn't come to the door, but I left it in the mailbox. But I said, God, just let her get it so we can get on one accord. Right. Amen? Because uh -huh. we need to get on one accord. And Jesus came to make the lame man walk. Yes. You ever seen somebody crippled? I never forget that time. I used to look at Bonanza all the time. And Bonanza had this, this guy, he was supposed to be in the cripple. And come to find out, it was behind the door, the man was walking behind the curtain. And the man was never crippled. But that teaches us something, you know? And, and, and he said, the man, the man get in the wheelchair, boy, he get in the wheelchair, and then some, the preacher go to healing him, supposed to be healing him. And what happened, the preacher called himself healing him. He didn't put no God name in nowhere. That's why the man got up and walked, was walking out red. That was a lie I read before. So he couldn't get it together to make, make it right. And he said he come to make the dumb talk. Come on. I know Jesus can make the dumb talk. I know he can make the dumb talk. And he, he come that we may have life and we may have it more abundantly. See, that's a good thing. Jesus died for all of us. He ain't died for one person or, or, or two people. He died for everybody. Even the white, the Japanese, all races, he, he, he died for all of us. Yes, that we may have life and we may have it more abundantly. And he came to make your enemy become your footstool. Yes, I know Jesus can make your enemy become your footstool. Yes, he can. I have enemies all the time. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to do nothing wrong. Ooh. I'm telling you, you ain't got to do nothing wrong. For, the, for, for God to make your enemies become your footstool, or you ain't got to do nothing right. Because you know, people going to hate you just because just cause you got a little more hair than uh, yeah. right. uh -oh. You know, it's, it's sad, but it's true. It's, it's true. Jesus came that we may have life and we may have it more abundantly. And he, he came to, to, to feed the hungry. He said, when you're sick, when you're hungry, he said, call on me. Yeah. I am that I am. Yeah. Who Jesus is. Yeah. We come to tell you who Jesus is. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus said that I am the beginning uh -huh. and the end. Yeah. He said that I am he that was dead and I'm alive forevermore. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're so glad that Jesus was dead and he got up on that old cross yeah. and he yeah. got down off that cross and he got up out of that grave. Yeah. We, we're glad of that. And it said that, and it said, I have, I have to praise him. We're talking about who Jesus is. No, why, why, why can't I, what can I do for Jesus? What can we do for Jesus? We can believe in him. We can, we can keep on praising him, lifting him up. We can keep on loving him. We can, we can glorify him. We can, we can give him all our life. Because Jesus said, upon this rock, I build my church. And the very gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Ain't God all right to We talking about who Jesus is. Jesus said, I am the door. In the book of John, the 10th chapter, he said, I am the door. I am the good shepherd. Yeah. I come that you to lay down my life for all my sheep. Yeah. Ain't God all right? Yeah. Uh, we talking about who Jesus is. Uh, yeah. But others said, uh, Jesus said, uh, I have come that you may have life and you may have it more abundantly.
Don't let nobody tell you your soul not going to lay down in that, that grave with you. No, that soul going back to where it's come from. So prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. Yeah.